our Lord Jesus has given us a sacred meal, which is an ongoing reminder and ongoing assurance and an amazing, an amazing example of his presence in our lives. We call it the Lord's Supper, Holy Communion. It is offered to those who have been baptized into the faith, who have repented before God and received Jesus as Savior and Lord. Here's what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, our Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread. When he had broken it and given thanks, he gave it to his disciples and he said to them, take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Take and eat, my dear friends. This is the body of Christ given for you and for me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, all of you drink of it. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Take and drink. This is the blood of Christ Jesus given for you and for me. And now may this body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and preserve you in the faith until that great and glorious day when he returns. On that day, shouts of joy and victory truly will resound in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. God bless you. Let's pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.